Day two and Jonathan and Hermione have been up since the crack of dawn. Hermione is having a rethink. The cloud chamber with this design hasn't been terribly successful. It's very, very hard to see what's going on. So I'm just going to try a completely plastic version, just a section of this water bottle sandwiched between two bits of perspex so that we can see right in. And I'm hoping that then we'll be able to see it a lot more clearly. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and Jonathan's also made some tweaks. You have changed quite a lot. Yeah, well, I put the cores closer to the magnets. Right. So we're getting, picking up more of the electricity. This is slightly bigger, um, so we're getting a better gearing. So it's really getting there now. The only thing I would say is, although that seems to be working really well, mm. I just have this vision of you walking down a dark mine shaft with no idea what's underfoot, and you're there desperately trying to crank this. I mean, it just doesn't seem terribly practical. Jonathan. It would be nice if I could automate this somehow. There's options, like with the clocks and a few bits and pieces. And that will drive it by itself. Yeah. Then, and you won't have to be doing that yeah. front of frantically. Yeah. Outside, Ellen's preparing her wax extraction. Hey, big girl. Hey. How did you get on yesterday? Brilliantly. Oh, look, look at, at this. This. That's it's fantastic. A, yeah, it's a honeycomb. Right. So the majority of it is honey. Yeah. But that's not what we want. We want the wax. OK. What we want to do is basically cut it out. Yeah. Melt it over this double boiler. Mm -hmm. The honey should sink to the bottom. Yeah. The lighter wax should come to the top. Oh, and then you can skim it off. Exactly. And do you think you've got enough in here for, what, one or two candles? One. Really? Yeah, it really so you, is you've mostly got, honey. you've got no room for error here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> here, just... <laughs> Eat this <laughs> and shut up, is that what you're telling me to do? Basically. Quite easy, all you've got to make candles. Come on, melt it. Who cares about Give us a shout if I can This help. is incredible. Meanwhile, Hermione's vandalising an old car and Jonathan's torch is taking a dunking. So if I turn the handle, you can see that the light works. So I'm just going to put it in and try it under the water. Oh, yeah. Great. Fantastic. Even works underwater. And that's good news for a wet mine. With the help of the car wing mirror, Hermione's fixed the light source for her cloud chamber. Kate? Oh, is this some um, cloud chamber mark two? It is, yes. Oh. Here's the source, that little needle. Yeah. And what I would like you to do is see if you can adjust. I've rigged up a, the car wing mirror there. Oh, yes. We need the sun sort of shining directly through this hole. OK. Um, and that should give us the light source. Mm -hmm. There it is, there it is, there it is. Bring, can we bring it up, up, up? There. Perfect. Yep. Yep. Is it working? It's working, it's working! <laughs> look, wow, look at that! In the sunlight, all those little All those tiny little wisps coming off it. <gasps> Isn't it beautiful? Oh, that's amazing! Success what with a strong artificial oh. radioactive source. <laughs> I'm so relieved. But will it be sensitive enough to pick up weaker natural radioactivity? Ellen's wax and honey stew is coming along nicely. Wow! All the wax has floated to the top, the honey is all on the bottom. It's just like having an oil layer and a water layer. They don't mix. Let's see if we can get some of this wax out of here clean. Mike storming ahead with the safety lamp. So what do I need to do? What do you have? <laughs> this is our safety lamp. What you could do is make a candle that will fit on that plate there and the sieve goes on top, and then we bolt the sieve down, seal it, and that's our safety lamp. Oh, no way! Are you saying I only need to make a candle that's two centimetres wide and, like, a centimetre tall? Yeah, that's all. That's I right. thought we were going to make this long taper <laughs> thing. <laughs> this is fabulous! All right, OK, good. All right, I can do this. It's waterproof and it's bright, but Jonathan's still battling to find a way to store energy in his torch. So have you had a thought? Well, I've been spending the last two or three hours trying to work out how to power this thing. Yeah. Without so you don't have to do this all, all the, time. the time. Yeah, and I've, here's a nice little clock. So I was thinking about clockwork mechanisms. But that's not nearly as powerful enough to drive this thing. So then I thought, 
you know, we've got these lovely springs. You must be able to put loads of energy on this. So that would that would effectively drive it, Maybe. that energy. Yeah, yeah, but I couldn't really see how to do that. And then I had the, the brainwave I had was the, rather than stretching it, you could twist it and store energy, you see? Right. So if I wind this up, you can see mm. that it's winding the spring and it's lighting the bulb. Yeah. But if I let go... Oh, wow, God, it's even brighter. It's even brighter. So I'm only winding half the time, if you like. That is brilliant. That is Brian. And now I've broken it. <laughs> Ellen has the wax for her candle. Now all she needs is a wick. All right. This is dogbane. And I think it's going to make a fabulous wick for our beeswax candles. Look at those tiny white fibres. Bashing time again as I help Ellen get at the pure fibres she needs for the wick. <laughs> That's what I, it's like what I pull off my comb every morning. <laughs> Ellen's hoping the wick and her beeswax will make an effective candle for the safety lamp. Mike's finishing off the lamp itself while Jonathan's still battling away on his torch. Day two draws to a close. Mike and Jonathan are feeling the pressure. It's going to be a pretty sleepless night for me tonight. <laughs> I think I'm just going to be worrying about it. But hey, that's rough science, you know. I've committed myself to one design for the safety lamp. And uh, if it doesn't work tomorrow, then I've only got a few hours in which to come up with an alternative idea, because I don't think I can modify that design to make it work. I really can't. <sighs> tomorrow is another day, and I've got at least half day to do that tomorrow, so we'll get it working then, I hope. <sighs> well, it's crunch day. Will Hermione's cloud chamber be able to detect radioactive rocks? Will Jonathan be able to illuminate the depths of the mine? And can two artfully put together sieves and some homemade beeswax candles really detect flammable gas? Today, we find out. First job for Jonathan is to get his wind up mechanism to work. It's sort of almost working. If this was sprung steel, it would be perfect. Such a simple idea as well. So I'm back to the drawing board. I need to find some much more springy wire, really thick wire. But he'd better get a move on. Time's running out. Outside, the safety lamp is about to be put to the test. Mike fills a bin with propane to simulate a mine full of combustible gas. First, he tests out the lamp without the top protective gauze. We have a bin full of propane. And we have a very anxious Mikey B. <laughs> Be careful, might be. Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we can unequivocally say that's flammable gas and it doesn't like a naked flame. Now, under the same conditions, Mike tests the fully assembled safety lamp. Ready, Mike? Yep. Wow. Did you hear that? Yeah. You could just see it. The flame just looked. Well, it's really weird. Well, it exploded, but the explosion didn't spread. So that's why wow. it works as the perfect safety, safety device. Because in you go, if there's any gas there, it ignites it, but traps it in there. So we would have had, if that would happened in the mine, we'd have time to get out you before get out. some major explosion. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to go and check on Jonathan quick. Right, JJ. <sighs> Hot out there. Exploding gas now. Uh, light. Yes, it works. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. It's Prove really, it. really nice. Prove it. We've got a tape measure here, which is storing our energy. You can see it's winding out. So now if I let go... Wow! Brilliant! It's a tape measure powered it, light! It is, and it was there all the time. <laughs> For the last three days, it was there. Well, you've got moments, and then we're really going to be putting it to the test. Okay. Hermione's cloud chamber is ready for its final challenge with rock samples from the surrounding mountains. What we've got here 
is three sources. None of us know which are radioactive and which aren't. And it's going to be up to you to judge whether you think they're radioactive or not using the cloud chamber. Are we all ready? Ready for the first sample? Based on this, we tell you it's not radioactive. Okay, it's not radioactive. So you guys are all saying it's not radioactive. Let's see. <laughs> not <laughs> radioactive. Test sample two. Can anyone see radioactivity in this rock? I can. I can too. <laughs> yeah, me too. Wow. Yeah. Okay, final answer. Radioactive. Let's see if you're right. Yes! <laughs> two out of two. <laughs> Test three. Will Hermione get a hat trick? Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Look at all those. So, can we conclude that, that you think this one it has to be? Without a doubt. Yeah, this one's Mommy, much more amazing. radioactive yeah, yeah, yeah. than that wow. second one. Okay, but let's prove it. Are okay. you right or not? Ready? Ah. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> three out of three. <laughs> Guys, we are definitely it ready works. to go down that mine. Let's go. After three days of hard work, it's time to go underground. The team need to explore the mine to see if they can find any silver in it. So Hermione takes the lead. They each have their own headlamp all cleverly wired up to the one hand cranked generator. Our very own rough science chain gang. What do we reckon of Jonathan's lights? I know. Really effective. What do you think? Well, the candles haven't been spluttering. Yeah. So I don't think there are any combustible gases in here. There's certainly been no explosion. And they're still burning, so there's plenty of oxygen. Any sign of any silver yet? Jonathan, being Jonathan, has added an extra feature. He can switch from powering the four headlamps in favour of just one brighter working light for Hermione. Just what she needs if she's to identify any possible silver. Wow, you can see the vein. Oh, yeah. Going along the whole roof of the tunnel there. Look, you can see maybe some copper precipitating out there. You see the blue bit? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. I can see. You see the white oh, oh, yeah. Dive? Oh, hang on. So, oh, no. Get the tape oh, measure going. Oh, no! The tape measure can't have failed. Well, what's <laughs> happened is the mechanism just twanged. Yeah, is that I'm, what it was? I knocked it. Okay, okay. So It's not as bad as it looks, I think. It, it looks terrible from here. At Guinness, we got the candles. I know. But they don't give much light to work by, do they? It's, it's not straight, is it? Yeah, I've got straight. Oh, great. We're almost there. One more turn and we'll be there. I think. The light on the other side, please. Can you put camera? Okay. No, there it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, Done it? Yes. Right. Okay, let's see. Okay. How are we doing? Yeah. Yes. 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 Good yeah. repair, John. Well done, John. Okay. Well, that is stressful. Have a good night, John. Yeah, I'll put you on your main beam. Oh, look, here. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, it's coming down. Woo! Oh, wow. Look, it's really Look sparkling. Look at that. Wow. Is that silver, do you think? Not silver itself, but yeah. with, with these type of minerals, you commonly get silver deposited. So I'm reasonably confident, Kate, that that rock would contain some silver. Okay, I want to take that, but I also want to say congratulations to all of you. We've been beautifully <laughs> lit by Jonathan. Um, can you collect some more of this? Yeah. Because we might need it. Okay. Wow. Well done. Wow. So sparkly. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Well, they've done incredibly well this week, but next time, can they take a photograph using this rock? Find out on the next Rough Science. Me and my sib are out of here. For a free survival science pack and details of all Open University programmes, call 0870 900 9581 or go to open2.net where you'll also find more video diaries from the Rough Scientists.